right, everybody. So, hey, let's do a harvest and taste on okra. Now, I know what you're going to say. Really, okra? There's really only one way to eat okra, and that's, well, you know, fried. No, <laughs> there's not. There are many ways that you can eat okra. It just depends on whether you want to eat okra. So as you just saw in the intro, I went outside and I harvested a lot of okras. Now, a lot of these were big, like big oak, like, like we're talking huge, right? I mean, big, big okras. Now, what you want to do is harvest the okra when they're a lot smaller. You know, three to two to three inches, maybe four, right in that range, because they're still soft. They're not hard yet, like these big ones. I mean, things are hard. And there's only so much you can do with them. And then also, it depends on what type of okra that you're growing. What do like, you do with the big ones? Like this. What can you do with this? Or a big, long, emerald one like this. It's got these crazy hard spines on it. I mean, this thing is hard. What do you do with those? Can you eat them? Do you throw them away? Do you save them for seeds? Well, what do you do? That's the biggest question that I've had. And last year when I grew okra, I really didn't know anything about it. I was testing the ground, testing the crops, testing the weather, just to see if the okra would actually grow here. And it grows really good, really, really good. If you've got a hot area, throw okra in the ground, get it growing. Even if you're not gonna eat it per se, grow it. That way you've got something growing in your soil and your soil is continuously alive and active. So grow something. If you choose to grow an okra, <laughs> so this is where you wanna harvest them and this is when they get too far out of the way. When you just don't go outside for a couple days or you miss them because they blend in so well and you get this giant monstrosity. Well, what, what can you do with this kind of an okra? That has been my question for ever. And I think I came up with an idea yesterday with the help of my mom. So mom, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so here's the secret to eating these big okra. Because look, when the okra gets about five inches or longer, they get a incredibly hard shell. It's almost like a crawdad shell or a turtle shell or something to that effect or a crab shell, better, better yet, a crab shell. Very hard, you are not gonna chew through that. So when they get to a certain length, you're done. These things are done. All you're gonna do is save them for seeds or put them in your compost tea. You're really not gonna do anything with them. But that's actually about, in, that's about seven inches and higher, they get super hard. From about four to six inches, you can still eat these things, even if they're a little tough. And the way you tell is if you, if you squeeze on it, if there's any give, there might be a chance to save that okra and eat it. Or like on this burgundy one, see that it's nice and soft. So ish, but it's still too long. That's probably six inches. You want them two to three inches. You want them more that size. These are super soft. You can chop through them like butter and you're ready to rock and roll. But again, what do you do with these? Well, <laughs> let me show you. All right, so what do we do? Well, I'm pretty sure everyone has one of these, a microwave. Microwave, what are you talking about? Trust me, take your big okras. We'll just start with these two for now because they're too hard. If you try to cut into this thing, it, it's like, it, it just, it's not gonna work, all right? You take your okras, you put them in the microwave. What you wanna do is start at about 45 seconds. Well, we can do a minute. Let's just do a minute. Clear. One minute. Around the 45 second mark, or a little bit sooner, we're gonna hear a pop, an audible pop. That's when you know these are done. Okay, there it was. You heard the two pops. Let's take them out. Once they pop, that's when they're done. And they're going to be hot. Remember that. So what just happened with the pop? Well, As you can see right there, the seam cracked open. 
it popped open on both of these. Now, like I said, they're hot. Now, a, a minute ago, they were super hard. You couldn't do really anything with this one. Now, it is super, super, super tender. Same with the burgundy one, which has now lost its color. Very weird, right? Remember how tough it was cutting the first one before we nuked them, right? Now watch this. Watch how easy we cut through these now. Look at that. Like butter. Just right, right through them. Now they're soft where you can put them in stews, soups. Look at that, right through it. Okay, so you saw how easy it was to cut through it once it was microwaved, as opposed to when it was fresh and not doctored with the microwave. Even if you were to soak that okra pod in milk for say two days or a day or whatever, or boil it, it is not going to get as soft as if you nuke it for 45 seconds or so. And then you can actually, it's actually pliable and you can actually eat it. Let's, let's do a disclosure right now. <laughs> okra has a reputation for being slimy because there, there is an element inside the okra pod that has a bit of a slime texture to it. I hate using that term because it reminds me of mucus and the scientific name for the slime inside okra actually sort of sounds like mucus, which I'll be honest, it grosses me out. I, I don't like, no, I, I don't like mucus, Ugh. but here's the kicker on it. The, the mucusy slime that's inside the okra is actually a starch. So for soups, stews, gumbo, things of that nature that you want to add a starch to to help thicken it up, you can add gumbo in and that slime actually turns into a, a thickening agent inside those recipes. So if you can get past the slime, then the okra now has a whole new world to you and it's super, super healthy. Google okra and its health benefits, it'll blow your mind. Very, 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 very healthy plant. Um, and this is actually considered a fruit. You'd think it'd be a vegetable, but uh, apparently it's a fruit. Now, that is what you can do with these. Nuke them, you'll hear that audible pop. Take them out, they're gonna be really hot, so remember that. Cut them up and then this is the stage where you air fry them, not before you do this. You can't do anything with it. It'd be like chewing on a shell. And I did that last year experimenting, and that was no fun at all, like none. Big question. I've got these giant, <laughs> I've got these giant okra pods here. They are super hard. I mean, ridiculously hard. But what do we do? Let me show you once again. Oh, I didn't say this earlier. Make sure you wash off the okras. Uh, just scrub them under some hot water and uh, get all the garden off of them. Cause you're gonna, like with these, you're actually gonna eat the, the pot. So make sure you clean them. Safety tip of the day. Okay, so we're going to take this, we're gonna nuke it again. Now, this one is a bigger pot, so start at a minute, and if you don't hear the pop, at a minute, take it out and see if it's just a little softer. You might not hear a pop on the big ones. And there it was, heard the pop. Okay, just so you know, this one popped at 40 seconds, and it popped so hard, it actually it actually blew the, some of the seeds into the microwave. No big deal, just okra seeds. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. This might blow your mind, because it blew my mind. What you can do with the seeds after you nuke them on these big okra pots. Okay, so remember, it's very hot. What you wanna do is take, 
Ooh, man, that is hot. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the end off of it. And again, remember, it is, it is hot. Now you saw how hard that was to cut through. You cannot do anything with this, but, but look at all the seeds. So all of these seeds right here are now edible, completely edible. They've been cooked and you can add them to stews, soups, anything that you want a texture to because you can eat them. Here are the seeds right here, right? These are still a little tough. So I'd probably put just the seeds back in the microwave for another 10, 20 seconds or so, just to soften them up just a little bit more. But if you like okra, if you like the taste of okra, these okra seeds are like pure okra. I mean, it, it tastes purely okra. And, you know, it's fantastic. Now you can even put these in a bowl, add a little lemon juice to them and eat them that way. Or any way that you think would taste good to you, you can eat them. Now, if you Google okra and different types of ways to eat okra or okra seeds, you'll, you'll get a whole list of things that you can add these seeds to. But until yesterday, I honestly didn't know that you could even do this. I, I didn't, I never even thought to really research in depth how to eat these giant okras that are so big. I mean, what can you really do with them? This is what you can do with them. Now, you, you can't do anything with the shell. I mean, this is done. This, you just go ahead and add to your compost or your compost tea. If you, if you make compost tea, I have a video on that, which I'll link right here. Um, Make sure if you put them in your compost, though, that you get the seeds out because you don't want volunteer okra plants growing all over the place. Or, or, you know, maybe you do. I don't know. I would make sure all the seeds are out because, look, I missed a whole bunch of seeds right there. So, <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people are going to try this and they're going to be like, Chad, you lost your mind. That was disgusting. Hey, okra is one of those vegetables, or I'm sorry, fruits, that you either like it or you don't. So I'm guessing if you're watching this video, considering the thumbnail was all about how to eat these big okras, then you're probably a person that likes the taste of okra. So my challenge to you all is give this a shot. All you need is a microwave <laughs> and big okras. We experimented yesterday on the star of David okra, the Clemson spineless okra, and then the emerald okras. These were the toughest ones. Now the burgundy okra, let me, let me get that. So this one, even being this long, is still pretty soft. So if you nuke it, you hear that pop, this thing will be ready to go. And I like, this one is my favorite okra so far of all of them. This is the Okinawan pink okra. That is the size that you want right there. About three to four inches, right in that range. That's the perfect size for this okra. Really soft and it's just packed with seeds. So nuke it, listen for it to pop, and then you're ready to go with that. These little ones, of course, are perfect for another application. Video. Now, this was a little unorthodox, I know, but this is down-home backyard gardening. It's going to be unorthodox. I'm going to do stuff that's a bit out of the norm, uh, stuff that kind of makes you think. This is the part one of the Harvest and Taste Okra videos. And I'm going to do two videos. Now, the next video, which I just kind of teased right there, or I'm sorry, the next Harvest and Taste Okra video that I'm going to put out has to do with these smaller okras. And I'm not talking about frying them. Chad, what are you talking about if you're not going to fry them? Well, <laughs> we're going to pickle them. And that's going to be a fun video because I finally got it down. I'm ready to go. So... That will be the next Harvest and Taste video for the Okra series. All right, everyone, so that's the video. Drop comments down below if you think I've lost my mind or if you think this will work, won't work, or whatever. 
I was incredibly skeptical, and I'm telling you, this works. You just gotta tweak it to your preferences. If you like your seeds to be really, really, really soft, nuke it for longer. If you want them a little crunchy, do it the way I did it. Play with the idea of doing different ways of testing and experimenting with vegetables that are very hard to do stuff with once they get past a certain point. That's what I learned yesterday, and again, thank you, Mom. All right, everyone, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. Just click the subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. Check out the Facebook and Instagram pages. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening into either one of those, and you'll find me. If you know anyone who's into okra, by all means, share this video, like the video, comment down below, and everyone, until the next Harvest and Taste, continue to shine bright and harvest hard. everyone that's the video hope you all enjoyed it hope you got something out of this video no i can't say that i sound like james prigione <laughs> all you need is a microwave <laughs> and big okras um now we experimented yesterday on the star of david okra um <clears throat> on the star of david okra 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 on the star on the star of david okra okay so here's a question now we know what to do with these long skinny ones, right? But what do we do with these big ones? These things, you, you, you can't really eat the shell on these. So what do you do with them? That's a good question. And again, came up with something. Or better yet, my mom came up with something. So again, <laughs> thank you.